Well, it was exactly a week ago that the Prime Minister Rishi Sunak told us all that the plan to stop small boats coming across the English Channel was working. A week on, we thought we would test that premise, and in fact, just yesterday, we had a record for the number crossing in a single day, more than 500. And today again, weather conditions are perfect for more of the same. We're joined by Nigel Farage, TV News presenter, knows these waters incredibly well. We're expecting another bumper day, Nigel. We are. I mean, the sheer cynicism of Sunak last Monday, arriving here when the wind was still blowing, they must have seen the long-term forecast. We've had three and a half weeks of constant northeasterly winds in the English Channel, very unusual. I've never known it from May into June to have that kind of weather system. High summer's now here. As you said already, 500 yesterday. Goodness knows what today will bring. And there's no disincentive. Yes, yeah, sure, we've sent a few people back to Albania, but now it's people coming from the subcontinent that are making up the real numbers, rural Punjab, etc. Nothing will stop. Nothing the government's done will stop tens of thousands of people coming this year. And Sunak boasted last week when he was in Dover, oh, I've got two new barges. Well, one of them was filled up yesterday. Goodness knows how many more today. And in many respects, the government has actually been saved by the fact that we've had this very unusual weather. Now we're into entering a period where clearly flat cam conditions are going to be much more uh, of a regular occurrence. We could see easily more than the 45,000 who crossed last year. Yeah, the long-term forecast, I mean, you know, they're unreliable, but the long-term forecast is it's going to be a long, dry summer without much wind. 45,000 could easily be beaten. And, you know, we may have promised another 500 million to the French, and it's easy to blame the French, but actually, these boats are now taking off from a 70-mile stretch of coast. They've got hundreds of square miles of sand dunes in which to hide. All too easy to blame the French. I mean, we've been doing it for a thousand years, I suppose. But actually, unless we start deporting people, unless we say, if you come illegally via this route, you won't be able to stay, they will keep coming. Thank you, Nigel. As we give you a look out into the flat cam conditions out there in the channel, uh, if we cross that 45,000, almost 46, thousand of last year, that's going to be pretty difficult for Rishi Sunak in the months ahead.